All right, Nintendo, I think a lot of us have been patient long enough. Where is Tomodachi Life? Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Botox Games, and today I wanted to talk once more about Tomodachi Life on Nintendo Switch. I made a video similar to this, I believe, last summer, maybe around August, September, talking about the likelihood of a Tomodachi Life game releasing in 2024, and I wanted to do a follow-up because, honestly, I thought we would have seen it by now, but... I will be honest, given the last Nintendo Direct, given how much life the Switch clearly still has left in it based on what was announced there, we got a new Zelda game, we got a new Mario & Luigi game, I don't think I've really given up hope. I, I still think that there is, maybe it's Cope, I don't know, but I, I feel like there is a chance we end up seeing Tomodachi Life maybe in the next Direct, and maybe it's a 2025 game. In fact, I actually said that in my January predictions that my, my pessimistic, while also being optimistic take was that... Tomodachi Life we would probably see this year, but it wouldn't release until 2025. And for those wondering why I'm so confident in Tomodachi Life coming back, I, I tweet about Tomodachi Life a lot over on Twitter, and people are always like, why are you, like, why, why Tomodachi Life? Why have you, like, really stuck to Tomodachi Life? It just comes down to sales numbers. Tomodachi Life on 3DS is one of the best-selling 3DS games. It ended up selling just under 7 million copies, which puts it in the top 10, I believe. So it, it is a massive seller for Nintendo, one that I don't think they really would have expected to do that well on the 3DS, in all honesty. But even beyond that, just based on my YouTube comments, on my videos that I've made about it, and also just the amount of interest this game seems to have on TikTok, it just makes so much sense. Like, if you're Nintendo... Why would you not make a sequel to one of the best-selling 3DS games and one of the most requested uh, games on Switch that haven't been released yet? We got Miitopia, which, I mean, it was it was fine. I like Miitopia a lot. Of course, it has a lot of the same DNA as Tomodachi Life, but it still didn't quite scratch that itch like I think maybe Nintendo thought it would. So I think the logical thing here is a Tomodachi Life game. And if they're going to continue supporting the Nintendo Switch into 2025, 2026 with new software, even after the Switch 2 comes out, of course, you got to, you know, satiate that, that massive install base of the Switch. It just makes a lot of sense to release a new Tomodachi Life game or even a remake of the 3DS version. Now, to be honest, it should have come out closer to New Horizons. Uh, this is purely anecdotal. Like, this isn't real evidence or anything. But I looked at Google Trends and I just searched like Tomodachi Life Switch. The peak in interest for this would have been January 2021. So about a year after New Horizons came out. That's when they should have released it. That would have been the perfect way to capitalize. Tomodachi Life and Animal Crossing are pretty different games, but at the same time, I think they serve a similar niche of, like, life sim kind of games. Tomodachi Life, of course, being a much more goofy game. But with Zelda and Mario and Luigi happening this late in the Switch's life, I, I really think that Tomodachi Life for 2025, that doesn't seem that unreasonable to me. But I guess the major question at this point would be, is this going to be a Switch game or is this going to be a Switch 2 game? Now, I've thought about this a lot over the past few months, and I have settled on the fact that I think this will actually end up being just a Switch game, just base Switch. Even if it releases after the Switch 2, I think it would be honestly a little foolish for Nintendo to release this exclusively on Switch 2, because I don't know if Tomodachi Life is a system seller, which might sound weird, considering how many copies the series sells, but when you look at Animal Crossing... Animal Crossing was a clear system seller for the Nintendo Switch. It sold a lot of units when Animal Crossing came out. Of course, there were other things going on in the world that made that those sales kind of spike, but Animal Crossing is a system seller. I think Animal Crossing is the gateway to a Tomodachi Life game. I don't think you should release a new Nintendo console and release Tomodachi Life before Animal Crossing, because Animal Crossing inherently is going to get more uh, hardware units sold, and then you can sell Tomodachi Life later on that huge install base. They could market Tomodachi Life as a big Switch 2, like, year 1, maybe even year 2 game, but I don't know if that makes sense when we will likely be getting Animal Crossing around the same time. You want to give it a little bit more time to breathe in between at least a year, I would say. But also, the Switch still has a very active user base, and by the time this theoretically comes out in early 2025, late 2025, the Switch will likely be at 150 million units sold. If Tomodachi Life on 3DS was able to sell 7 million, or just under 7 million, on the 3DS, which sold about, I believe, what, 70 million consoles, I don't think it's a stretch to say that Tomodachi Life on Switch, maybe not now because it is so late, but, like, if this had released in 2021 during that peak of Nintendo Switch, during that peak of Animal Crossing hype, I think Tomodachi Life could have been a 20-plus million seller for Nintendo, which is crazy because you look at what Nintendo fans play, and you look at what a lot of these core... Uh, Nintendo YouTubers talk about, and they talk about, you know, Zelda, Metroid, Mario, and Luigi, even all the Mario games. 
but they don't talk about stuff like Switch Sports. They don't talk about stuff like Tomodachi Life, when in reality, these games sell just as well, if not better, than a lot of Nintendo's core franchises like Splatoon. I absolutely think Tomodachi Life would outsell Splatoon 3. I don't think there's even really much room for debate there. It's just a matter of why haven't they done it yet. I feel like maybe this was just a bit of mismanaging because of Miitopia. I feel like maybe Nintendo thought, well, this is more of a core game. People will like Miitopia more. It died on the 3DS because it came out after the um, the Switch came out. So no one really played it on 3DS, at least not in North America. I think it came out in 2016 in Japan. But I think maybe they had bigger expectations for that. Whereas with Tomodachi Life, I mean, I, I really do think this is a surefire hit. There are some things with like gay marriage and, and same-sex relationships that I know have um have been a little bit controversial with Tomodachi Life. And I've gotten comments on my video last year saying like, oh, I don't think Nintendo's gonna make a new Tomodachi Life because they want to avoid any controversy. I think the reality is if Nintendo wants to release a Tomodachi Life game without same-sex marriages, they probably would just do that. But honestly, I, I don't really I don't know if I, I really could see them not having it either i think they would just i think they would just have it honestly but i really don't think that's like what's stopping them from releasing a new tomodachi life i'm not sure how much sense that really makes especially when you look at what happened with Metopia in russia where the game actually got an 18 plus rating because of these same sex relationships now that is different you're not literally marrying the character but in Metopia, you have this like heart meter and it raises and eventually you can become soulmates with any gender with any me right so i feel like maybe they would just implement some sort of system like that since they were willing to let this game have an 18 plus rating in Russia for Metopia, I don't really think that's going to stop them from releasing an entire game that fans really want. And then I guess the final question for today's video, uh, final two questions, is who is making this game, or who would be making this game, and will it be a new game or a remake? Last year when I made my video talking about it, I said that the likeliest candidate would be something like Grezzo, who did the remake of Metopia on Nintendo Switch. We now know, or I guess we can kind of assume, that they're doing Echoes of Wisdom because they did Link's Awakening, and that has added a lot of, like, kind of questions to, like, well, who would do Tomodachi Life then if it isn't them? Because since they did Metopia, they kind of seem like the likeliest candidate of a new Tomodachi Life game or a remake of the 3DS version, but... I really don't know if Echoes of Wisdom existing necessarily means that they didn't also do Tomodachi Life. Grezzo isn't a huge team, but I could see a scenario where Link's Awakening Remake came out in 2019, the core of Grezzo, the bulk of Grezzo staff, moved on to Echoes of Wisdom for the past four or five years, and then maybe that small team that made Metopia has also just been working on Tomodachi Life since that released in 2021. I don't think that's that out of the realm of possibility, so it is possible, especially since we know how Nintendo likes to sit on games. Echoes of Wisdom could have been finished a year or two ago, and then maybe they started working on Tomodachi Life then. I don't think that's that unreasonable. It could also be another team. Tomodachi Life was originally made by Nintendo SBD1, which is now known as EPD7, and that's the same team that kind of helped helps and oversees the developments of 2D Metroid over at Mercury Steam. Now, the last game that Yoshio Sakamoto worked on was Metroid Dread. He was the original producer on Tomodachi Life, and then his last project that he's credited for was Metroid Dread in 2021. So we've had three years since Yoshio Sakamoto was credited for anything at Nintendo. Could it be that he's been working on a new Tomodachi Life game or a remake with EPD7? I would lean towards that being a little less likely. I think it is likelier that Grezzo does have a smaller team working on it because Yoshio Sakamoto probably working on the next 2d metroid game for switch 2 but maybe he just wanted to do tomodachi life first i mean we already got that 2d metroid game on switch maybe he wanted to mix it up a little bit and get a tomodachi life out on the uh the switch before moving on to switch 2 development i'm not sure as for the question of whether it'll be a remake or a new game i guess it kind of comes down to whether or not that even matters metopia was a remake and yeah the core like structure of the game is the same but with a game like this that heavily uses Miis, them adding that new Mii Maker to Miitopia basically made it a new game, I think, in a lot of ways. And if you get a Tomodachi Life game with that same Mii Maker from Miitopia, I don't know if I personally care. Maybe you add some more events and stuff, but like, you don't really need to reinvent the wheel here. I just want Tomodachi Life on Switch with that Mii Maker that Grezzo made for the Miitopia remake. And I mean, I'd be set. That was a wonderful, wonderful tool for importing any of your most disastrous creations into the game. If we can get that in a Tomodachi Life, even if it's the exact same content as the 3DS version, I'd be fine with that. But of course, I'd always prefer a new game. If they want to call it Tomodachi Life 2, even though it's the third game, that's fine. Um, but I think with the way Nintendo has been doing things recently, it being a remake 
is probably likelier. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Do you think this would be a remake or a new game? And let me know, do you think this is happening at all? Do you think this is pure cope coming from me saying that I think this will be happening soon? I I will make this video every single year until it happens. This is the one Nintendo franchise. I'm just kind of scratching my head at this point of like, why isn't this on Switch? And if we go through all of 2025 without hearing about it, that's going to be really really weird so let me know your thoughts down in the comments below what do you think of the current state of tomodachi life do you think there is still hope for a new game on the nintendo switch or do you think it'll be saved for the next console generation i would love to get a conversation going down below of course subscribe here for more nintendo switch news reviews discussions all of that fun stuff follow me on twitter at botox games and until next time folks peace